Alrighty, welcome back to How To with ESO. This one is how to level up your scrying. Uh, there are a number of things when leveling up scrying. The first thing I did was I, I had a look and I found the Antiquities Grind Guide for Scrying by Alcast HQ, which is really helpful in letting you know what number of experience points you need per level and what each lead that you uncover is worth. So for level to go from level one to two, you need eight experience points. And the only one you're gonna have access to to start with is are the green ones. So let's just head into our scrying. Uh, you will discover that you cannot scry something that is not in your region. The scry option, if you look down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see the scry option is blacked out. So what the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to scryable. So you wanna to go to your antiquities tab. You want to go to Scryable, click on that. You want to go to Current Zone. Current Zone will give you... Now, I've had characters discover a number of things in this area. Um, and this one here is just... Basically, I found all of all of these. I found two of these. I found an ancient fishing rod. I found Pelagio's training blade. And you'll notice that they're all of a level that this current character can't do. So we're going to go for the Kanathi Schooner Pipe. Skuma, Schooner, Schooner Pipe. There's no sailing on this pipe. We hit E for, we highlight it, hit E for scrying, and away we go. We're just literally going to grab this. Now I don't have any of my usual fancy tools, so um, I'm a little bit at a loss as to what I want to do. I might go this way. That looks pretty good. That one's there. And you'll notice that I didn't quite make it to this last one, which means out of the six zones that I needed to eliminate, I only eliminated five. Uh, you'll also notice that there is another, oh sorry, you'll also notice that there are two zones highlighted here. So one of these zones will have my antiquity in and one of them will have something in it, but not the antiquity we're looking for. The other thing I usually suggest you do is go through the zone and finish clearing it. Uh, I'm not going to do adventures while we're doing the leveling up process. Uh, the final thing that I should have mentioned at the beginning is whatever zone you choose, make it a small one. There's a lot of running around involved in leveling up and the larger the zone you're in, the further apart your digs are going to be. So make it a small zone, make it a zone that you have as many of the wave stations um, unlocked in as you can uh, which when you're beginning is probably not going to be many so I would suggest your beginner zone some people suggest doing the clockwork city zone but the monsters there are pretty tough so uh, it's up to you of course my inside the zone I think I am let me just hit M all right you'll see we're inside this blue area now the other thing I didn't do that I should have done just hop out of this we hit Q You'll notice there's nothing in my quick slots, which is kind of bad. Let's go into our inventory and fix that. Go into the lightning bolt for quick slots. Uh, we are... Well, you know what? We do want to put our restoration potions in there. Uh, that's kind of handy. Our fortifying meals should probably go in there. And our survivor liquor should go in there as well. Uh, wow, sips of armor, sips of health. All of those are kind of handy. But I've got these, and I'm going to share them for my other characters. What I'm looking for tools and aquarian's eye let's put this in here now the fire rock is handy but not here the pie of misrule only during the uh, jester's jubilee oh sorry the jester's festival the jubilee cake only during jubilee and Braider's bottomless mead mug is during one of the other festivals that i temporarily can't remember however the one we want when to hit q we want to highlight the antiquarian's eye and then we want to hit Q again to operate it. I did my first half a dozen antiquities without using this tool and it made me very sad. Basically you follow the direction of the tail. So we're going to run in this direction we're going to try and avoid the monsters. Uh, we're not going to try and avoid any chests however. We are going to unlock these. Just excuse me while I digress. Why? Because we are collecting training sets. 
And level ups. Definitely collecting level ups. Because we desperately need to um, to level that up. We're also going to learn that if we can. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, we've leveled up. Let's very quickly add those points in. Um, if we have anything, we've now learnt Tarragon Chicken. We have one Ooh. attribute point. It's going into magic by the look of it. Let's commit those points. Um, Alright, I don't have anything I can level up in here, which is sad. Excavation is the same. So what I'm going actually going to do is I am going to hang on to those points so that I can level things up as I need to without having to return to the storyline. Um, by now, of course, our queue has run out. So we're going to... You'll notice if you look down at the bottom uh, that it has a timer, a time delay on it when you can use it again. This is the Horn of the Chieftain. This was not our dig site. Where is our other dig site? Behind us. Right, let's turn around. We're going for a run. So literally, when you first begin scrying, you are going to do a lot of running around. And here we are. We need to find eight, uh, eight of these antiquities. Uh, unless we can find something that else that we can scry. But fortunately, we can just scry the green one over and over again. I am a goose because I got completely sidetracked. Uh, and we're just going to do this until we find what we need. As you go up in level, the antiquities are going to be a lot more um, difficult. Actually, I should have seen if there was a... No, there's no way shrine in here. So if we find a way shrine while we're running around like lunatics, looking for our antiquities, we're going to take that too. I won't stop and dig anything up. I will stop for treasure chests uh, because experience and, well, treasure, basically. Uh, I should probably stop and murder every monster. You'll notice that the eye... Let's just back up a little bit. Okay, so you'll see that we're looking at the eye. You'll see that what the eye is in reference to, Kanathi schooner pipe, is above it. So we know what antiquity we're looking for if we have multiple antiquities in the area. On our map, you'll see we're right on the edge. Now watch what happens to the eye in the center of, your, of the thing when you cross the line. Now we can use our queue, our quick slot. Uh, I know, it's so hard to walk past them. And we're just going to run in a straight line. We're going to try and avoid monsters. And we are, in general, going to look for a shiny mound. There it is. Knowledge is right. Power. Again, I always start in the middle. And then I try and find which direction. Now, if I've got orange here and yellow here, I'm going to go one out. And it generally pays off. Generally. So our antiquity is six... Uh, oblong and it's right there we're going to go W that's right I have no more advanced dig tool yet so I'm just going to have to very patiently uncover it we have time to uncover some more these ones will take more to dig through I'm going to focus on these because they only are two layers deep and we're going to hope. There. Alright, you see how it froze the minute we found something extra? There we go. I was hoping to find something more. However, we didn't. So we are going to... J, viewing codex. So we now have all three parts because Rosalore has been a menace and gone and undug some. Radio. J. Scryable. Current zone. The only thing we can scry is this. Let's go. Uh, you notice that we're out of power. <laughs> oh man, I forgot how frustrating this part of this part of it could be. Have we got, we have found all of the way shrines in this area. So there are no way shrines to unlock. We are indeed going to have an awful lot of running to do. I am going to recall to that one though. Because it saves me a little bit of running. We're going to pivot until we see our antiquarian's eye. 
it's not going to tell us, it is going to tell us one of these is a skooma pipe. We're going to look at our map to see which one. So we want to go for that one there. Yeah, all right. Uh, we are probably going to have to come down off here to get there. So do a little bit of zigging and a little bit of zagging. Uh, any of the beginning zones are quite good to do this in. Um, Bentonic. I know, I tend to run in a straight line. The beginning zones are also nice from the point of view that there's not an incredible amount. Make sure I'm running toward the right one. I've run past one. I have. Let's just go back. There's not an incredible amount of danger. Uh, so if you're running uh, a secondary character that has... Are we inside? Yep. Hit that Q because you've got it ready. Um that has champion points then it'll be easier still if you're running a very brand spanking new straight out of the box character then um, the other important thing I forgot the other important thing you need to know about um, dig sites is that they will usually be away from wandering mobs it doesn't mean that the path to them won't will be away from wandering mobs just that the dig site itself is generally in a spot where um, it is now. I'm just going to hit Q again. Oh, right, no, there it is. Canteen Cozy. All right, so that one was our false dig site. I know, we're going to try not to. I mean, any monsters that we attack will help us with XP, which will help us level, which will help us get the uh, points that we need to develop our skill. Now, there are a few more monsters in this area. Alrighty. So we're going to have to be a little bit cautious about where we run, and we might be, have to be prepared to have a fight. Huh. Well, there it is. So again, middle. Alright, and we're just going to follow that. Okay, so clearly it must be over this way somewhere. Ooh, I'm wrong. Try there. Alright. That's it. So we get W. We did find something else. All right, how many points is that? Three, no, two. And again. So it's basically just a matter of rinse and repeat until you can... And I've run out of space again. I probably should have gone up the middle. It would have been a more economical way to do it. If you're lucky, sometimes you'll end up with your dig site in the same spot. This time we're not that lucky. Let's just get going. So one of the advantages of doing it, uh, of doing this, at least, is that as you run through a zone looking for stuff, you can stop and you can pick your pick your various. If you've got, especially if you've got a craft bag, you can pick your various resources. Um, you can stop and do adventures on the way which will help you with your leveling up which will help you with the points you need to put into your um, your thing I'll get there eventually oops well okay looks like we may or may not have a fight on our hands we'll just try and go around it I know a minute. I am right in the right in the zone. Oh right, I didn't realise. Hit Q. Oh, 
Now remember what I said about it usually being away from wandering mobs. Usually. There it is. We went right past it. Might as well grab that pewter scene while we're at it. Looks like someone else is doing exactly what we're doing. Now, the good thing is you do not need to be worried about someone else stealing your mound. Okay? Simply because they have their own instance of it. Radio, let's head on. We've dug up one false treasure. Uh, how big is this drop? Alright, maybe we'll find a slightly more circuitous route down. There we go. If I'd run straight over that, that would have been quite painful. The last thing I want to do is ghost myself in the middle of a treasure hunt. Not that that's ever happened, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, let's not run through the middle of the bandit camp. So like I said, just because your um, your dig site's going to be uh, away from mobs, it does not mean your route to the dig site is going to be away from mobs. I always look for the sparkling dirt, and away we go again. This should be our site though. Get days like this. You don't have to use up all your sights. Bound it. Alright. Now be aware, all of these little things that you're finding are taking up space. You can sell them though. Okay, um, be careful. You may wish to uh, you may wish to use some as furnishings, but other things can be sold. Let's grab that. Let's go here, here, here. Uh, that one. There we go. So you're just looking for pa a path that will help you link all of them in the, with the least amount of button pushes. Of course you are. Uh, I've just got to work out how to get there because swimming up here is a bad idea. There's slaughterfish. Let's let's head into there just to save ourselves that bit of running. I think this is number four, is it, or is it number three? Let's have a look in our skills. Scrying. Four of eight. There you go. So we've only got to find four more and then we'll be able to earn two points per. Okay, we want to go through here. So we're going to run down to the beach. Over the bridge. Which of course is a war zone. isn't going to do itself. No, we know this. All right. It's not a war zone yet. All right, this is a war zone. Oh boy. Looks like we're going to earn some XP while we're doing our stuff. Alright, we were trying to avoid that fight. And we failed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, normally I would stop and grab that. If he doesn't yell, we made it past. Alright, I think we're actually in the zone now. Let me hit that Q and find out. Alright. So it's very often just a matter of moving cautiously inside the area. This is 5, right? Point 0.5 we're getting.
All right, it's either up here or it's down this way. We might as well find out. Here it is. Found it. Let's... Uncover as best we can. We may not find anything. Nope, we found no bonus treasure that time. Wow, wow, wow. That's right. Let's go again. Six. Oh, that was pretty, right? Is it in the same zone? No. Alrighty, let's recall. I know. <laughs> Lazy kitty. But it's quicker this way. We aren't quite getting the treasures we need to, um, to cover those costs yet, but we will. There were beetles. Two hours until watch change. Stay alert. <gasps> well, looks like we're having a small break. I know, I heard him. I saw him just as I went past him. There's some iron ore there. Okay, we've been here before. We're nearly in the zone. There it is. It's not always here in this zone. It just We've just lucked out, I think. And I've lost count again. Alright, we know where it is now. So this was um, one of the reasons why I showed you how to why I went through looking for a difficult artifact is because with little artifacts like this all we're doing is we're just using the brush tool and um, there's not a lot of like you don't have to think too strategically with it don't think we're going to get all of it. If we're lucky we'll get to at least down to at least one. There we go. Seriously. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's, um, let's head for the closest one. Which is just up here. We are currently on six of eight. So we only need to find two more. And then we can actually hopefully start to go for the blue ones. Now the blue, uh, two to three, yeah, the blue are worth three points. And we should start uncovering them with our greens. Oops, I know I ran right past it. Got to watch where you're running. I was too busy looking at the other screen. Tail goes this way. There it is. Look for the sparkly dirt. Clearly it wasn't this one. Where's the other site? Over right there. Alright, let's go. So yes, be prepared if you if you want to level this thing up fast so you can get to some of your gold antiquities. It's Don't gonna take you a little bit. Nice. 
That was scary. But fortunately, Kanathi's Roost is only a little island, so it does not take you forever. I mean, if you're doing this in elsewhere, for example, um, Glenumbra, Glenumbra, you can have antiquities from you know going from one end of Glenumbra to the to right down to the other end, and that's a long run if you haven't unlocked it. Uh, it's not so bad if you if you have unlocked it. That's an adventurer. That beetle will stop chasing me eventually. It will. So I think this is our seventh point. We'll just go around the harpies. watch that little antiquarian's eye symbol get bigger and bigger as we run around the different things that might try and eat us. Ah, oh, no, don't eat me. Ah, oh, radio. Well, this is my pile of sand. Don't you throw stuff at me. Right, now that we've got that out of our system, let's excavate this dig site, shall we? Wolf trick mirror, alrighty. As our extra, one more point to go. Let's go. Eat a scry. So you're literally going to have to do eight of these low level ones to get where you want to go. I know I'm getting sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where are our sites this time? Oh, really? Well, okay, let's do the two closest ones. What do you reckon? We could luck out. No, we won't worry about that. Just got to wait for it to refresh. There we go. Oh, there it is. We weren't that far off it. Pungent incense. Fantastic. Well, kitty catty, I hope you don't mind getting your fur wet. Oh, and I hope I don't get slaughter fished while I'm heading this way. The evil little fishy fins. We should be okay. We should be okay. Oh my god, I hope we're okay. That's a bad guy, isn't it? Oh well. I was wise to your evil ways. Alrighty, we're in the zone. Let's find out where we are. I know, this island is covered with cultists. Evil little antiquarians. Okay, they're not cultists. They look like. But oh, that's his pet. I yeah. 
That's a very cute cat. I think it's his pet. Sigh. Well, now we know where the skooma pipe is. <laughs> it's not out here by the ocean this time. Well, and you can't really blame it. I mean, it would get wet and soggy and the tobacco would go ook. Let's go. Time for a swim, kitty cat. Oh, I know. I'm always scared I'm going to get slaughterfished. It doesn't matter where I've swum or how many times I've swum it. I always worry that the little little beasties will migrate somewhere inconvenient and start chewing something that they really shouldn't. Uh, radio, let's go for another run. Try not to get into a fight. I mean, we probably should get into a fight because then we get more XP, but... I... that was not something I intended. <laughs> Don't know the right word. Run, rabbit, run. Usually if you don't hear that secondary shout, they're not going to come after you. You know what? Oh, there is no quick way, is there? And we don't want to go that way. Uh, why? Because we can't swim that particular um, area and get back up again. Not that you would know that if this was your first time in the area. Believe me, I didn't and I got eaten. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Oh, we're going to find out what that book does later. <laughs> that adventurer looks okay. We will let them do their thing. run across country here Revelations await. <gasps> I know that's an adventure but uh, yeah this is this is literally what leveling up your scrying looks like so we're about to go and hit level two hopefully We'll get there eventually. Man, someone's running from the gua. That's funny. I know exactly how that feels. The nice thing is, is it means the gua isn't here for me to run into it. So, I mean, I should say thank you. Uh, right, maybe we'll go... Ah! Oh, fine. I know, I sh that was me laughing at misfortune. Serves me right. What does this one do? Alrighty. down the hill. You know what, I don't think we visited this particular site either. Oh, there's my thing. Hang on a minute. Let me just go right to the edge here. <gasps> oh no! Ow! Lightning bug! Someone had fun. Alright, I know there's another one up here, so give me a minute. Get my bearings. Find my dirt pile. That thing, you'd think I'd stolen its children. It really isn't going to run away. Well, okay. It was worth a bit of experience. I need at least five inventory spaces free to dig. Alrighty. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to call it there, guys. But as you can see, we are heading... Um, we, we might just try and get to level 2. But it's just a bit of a run back out here. Hmm. We need to recall. Let's go. We're going to recall into Mistral. Because Mistral is where the merchants are. We're going to sell the antiquities that we're not going to use as furnishings. Uh, we do have a little bit of time. Yeah. No, we're not using that. We're finding merchants because merchants are our friends. All right, they might not be your friends, but they're my friends. Indulu will do. Here, Mystic. I'm sure I've got something that you will enjoy. Carapace, Valhide, Iron Greaves, Kanathi Skooma Pipes. Uh, Royster's Club Coins. We own those fair and square. Uh, transportation Guide, Artwork and Maps. Drinkware, Canteen Cozy, Bottle Approving. Horn of the Chieftain. Mm, mustache Wax. Polished Gut Rock. Uh, we're not selling that. Pungent incense. We can get rid of that. That must have come from our experimenting with um, stuff. Alright, we're going to stick that in our house. That'll be fine. Uh, we will get rid of these trifling... We finished... I see, we finished a daily endeavour. Wax portrait card, wolf trick warrior, wooden toy sword. Uh, we're going to research those if we can. Alrighty, that's pretty good. If you'd seen what they ask us to do. Both of you, calm down. Alrighty, is it going to be quicker to teleport back? There is no quick way to do this, is there? No. Sigh. Alrighty. gonna go over to here and now we're gonna run back to our dig site because we actually have I know I'll get there 30 29 spaces well do I have enough coin for a bag merchant is there a bag merchant here let me check on my map uh, -da -da, armor tailor enchanting alchemy pack merchant we need to find shikros Uh, Maladik. Shikruz. Shikruz has many bags to sell. We will accept a bag upgrade. How much money do we have? Ooh, I don't know if we've got enough for another one. Why don't we try? If you wish to place a mammoth within a bag, Shikruz could find a bag for this time. Shikruz, I challenge you to do exactly that. Alrighty, now we won't run out of space as quickly. 90. Oh my gosh, whatever shall we do with so much space? So this is basically to get our antiquities up to the next level. This is what it takes. Don't believe her lies. I know, there are some belligerent books out there. So the good thing is, is you don't have to scry it again once you leave the site, it's still going to be there. That dirt mound won't have shifted, we just have to remember where it was, and if we can't, we can always use the antiquarian tool to show us. Uh, right, time to catch my breath, just going to run up and over the hill here, while I get my stamina back. I probably should eat something to deal with that. You know what, I've got a crown meal in there. Seems a waste of a crown meal really, but... I mean, it would save us having to always stop our running. Uh-oh. It, it did get annoyed at me. I'm so sad. Maybe it will stop chasing me before I get to my dirt mound. She says, wistfully. I don't think it's going to stop chasing me.
All right, it did. We ran that little bit extra and it did stop chasing us. Now we can dig up our dirt mound in peace. I usually dig in an area, a square area, and that's because when I get the next tool up, it's just so much easier for using it. We also found our bonus item and a torch bug lantern. Scrying has increased to two. <laughs> Yay, go us. Alrighty, let's have a quick look in our tools. Yes. Okay, scry's patience, additional turn of scrying. Yeah, that's beautiful, but not what I want. Excavation at the moment is more important to me. Three layers of dirt. Let's grab that. And a key knife for dig sites to make them easier to find. Radio. And now we are in need of actually being able to find uh, stuff. Let me just go back into my abilities here. Going to scrying. All right. We can now scry for antiquities of up to simple difficulty, which may mean that we might get an extra lead. So, okay, we're up to blue. So we can, we're going to have to go for green. And if I look at my, um, if I look at my guide chart here, we actually need to get 12 points to go from level two to level three. I guess. But the other thing we're doing by avoiding all the fights too is we're actually avoiding, and by not gathering, we're avoiding several ways that we could be finding more leads. So we might start to do that as we go. Let me just check something. Alrighty. So what I might do is I might start fighting a few things because we need to get that XP to level up. We need to also increase my abilities and we need to take that risk so that we can also find actually I should also find a direction to, to run in too. We'll do that by grabbing this Kanathi Skooma pipe and seeing what we can find. That's done. That's done. Oh, wow, that was really bad. Oh, no. And I zipped out of the map. Right, so we have three places. Well, let's turn our little tails around. Turn our smiles the right way up. Okay, you can also get them out of... Oh, man, I thought I saw a rock in here somewhere. Out of here, that's fine. So you can get them out of mining, you can get them out of gathering. These are all places I've gotten leads from. I've gotten them from mining, I've gotten them from gathering alchemical resources, mostly plants. I have gotten one out of a rhinestone jar once, I think, unless my memory is playing tricks, which it may be. Um, I have definitely gotten one out of fighting monsters on more than one occasion. Let's see take this one. I've not played this class of character be before, so I'm going to apologise in advance for not using its skills, um, as well as those of you who know how to play it would use it. So now we're starting to level up, and we're starting to give ourselves more chances of finding other leads. Because we do want to find a ton of leads, and, uh, and do that. No more, no more dodging XP. Oh, I can't help it, they're so pretty. I 
They're very flashy, aren't they, these moves? Oh, wow, we nearly ran past that. I have gotten leads out of chests uh, as well. So, leads out of world bosses. You get some very rare leads out of them. So we definitely want to get her up. So that by the time she's at a point where she can... Um, get leads out of world bosses. She's okay. We'll just grab that. So you'll notice that my, my herbs aren't, aren't glowing, but uh, what we're doing is we're still... That's, uh, I could, I could get used to that. Where am I going? Oh, in the wrong direction. Alright, well, we're over halfway in the wrong direction now. You, I'll be upset if it ends up being at that place we just left. It's easy to get turned around. One of the most common places to get another lead from is actually from the place you've just scried. Or at least it has been for me. A lot of these places that are green... Oh, let's not run past the one we're closest to again. So a lot of these leads that are green will let you have a, um, will give you another lead that is blue. And we're getting close to the level where that should start happening. Okay, they're not bad guys. Um, there we go. So away we go. I know, don't fall down on the job. There's my glowing mound. We're just going to grab these runestones. Oh, no lead in that one. My runestones are broken. Okay, clearly that is not what we're looking for. Might as well go after this one. So we're Knowledge on eight points. Is power. Um... But we need to get another 12. So. Oh, really? We're going to run back to this one now, are we? Fine. You awkward child, you. He's not going to let me have this, is he? Yes, he is. I'm slicing and dicing in preparation for, you know, frying and grilling. Oh, well, I thought you were... My apologies. Did I beat you up before? I do not wish to be a crispy kitty. See if we can get a, a lead out of this. Nope, not today. There's a rare drop. We just have to do it more often. Beetle scuttle. Ew. All right, we'll fight you too. in the zone yet? No. Yes. Alright, they do get easy to see. 
and again trowel unlocked you unlock the trowel once you've built up enough intuition you can use this tool to dig deep in a single direction starting at the topmost chunk try using the trowel to probe your excavation site and quickly remove dirt and rocks above an antiquity uh, if you're not careful you'll break your antiquity but uh whoops sorry we want to look for it first actually going to be that way. W. Well, okay. If you go A. Oh, right. You don't have enough. Okay, yeah. No, decline. You don't have enough antiquity. You need to use your little brush to help you build up. Now we have. See how the little blue bar here is full? You go A for temp trowel. Antiquity damaged. And this is what happens when the antiquity is not that deep. Um below so let's go back to W because it's going to be the quickest way to get this done all right now that we know where the antiquity is we can use our trowel to um, dig deep without having to worry about hurting our antiquity So this one only does one chunk. But you see it does go down three layers. No bonus loot found. Sigh. But guys, on that note, I am going to bid you adieu. We have gone from level zero, well, level one to level two. Uh, if you like, I can do another, another section and uh, take us from level two to level three. But basically, all you're doing Actually, I will. I'll just work through. So this is a how-to, how to go from 0 to 100 on one island. But on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed it, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.